500. <laughs> that's, that's a good outtake. How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and we are here at Red Dragon Fireworks in Harwood, North Dakota where we are going to pick out $500 worth of fireworks and make a display out of that budget. So a few weeks ago I posted this poll on my community tab on YouTube where I said I was going to do some budget videos for you. Because we got 10,000 likes on the post, I decided to do all the budgets. So here at Red Dragon we're going to pick out $500 worth of fireworks and make a really nice firework display for you. So let's come down over here. You'll notice we have a lot of novelty items like fountains and smoke bombs and all that stuff, but we wanna go straight back to the 500 gram cakes where I think the majority of our budget is what we're gonna use. So coming over here, obviously Winter Sweet is a fan favorite, so we're gonna be picking one of these out. And actually, I don't even have my calculator out, so we're gonna have to get that out real quick because we're gonna do some totaling. So Winter Sweet is gonna be 49, so we're just gonna add that. And then uh, coming on down, you know, I don't think I've ever shot one of these cheese head cakes, and I know you guys carry them every year. So I am gonna be picking up one of those. That one there is 39. So we're just gonna actually add, so we had 49.99, so we'll just go one for 50, and then we'll go another one for 40, and we'll keep going. And moving on down, I know that this uh, Mammoth series here by Dominator is pretty impressive. This is a 10 shot cake called Sunring. It's got some really nice ring effects. We're gonna be picking that one up as well. And that will just add another 50 to our budget. So we're at 140. Uh, Mammoth series, we got another one here. This is called Mammoth Brocade. And when we shot this at the demo, I was really impressed. It's another 10 shot cake, big bore. So we're gonna add that one as well. And that's another 50. So we are at 190 so far in 500 gram cakes. Um, I don't think we're gonna do canister shells for this display because we do wanna spend some time in the 200 gram cake aisle. We are going to pick out Glitterati Jr. I was really impressed with this one. This is a nine shot cake. So we're gonna grab that right away. And that one was another 50. So we'll just add that, we're at 240. Now over here on this aisle, you'll notice two shelves and you can pick out four cakes for hundred bucks, which is a killer deal. So we're just gonna go ahead and add $100 right away. And we're at 340. So I'm just gonna pick out four 500 gram cakes from these two aisles. And I think the first one that I definitely wanna get is two if by C. And that one there is by the Great American Fireworks Company, which is another SFX spinoff, right? I mean, we should- Great American, yep. Yeah. Now I've been really impressed with Raccoon Fireworks and so we're gonna be picking up one of these Flash Bangs, which is a 500 gram cake that I have not seen before. So we'll add that to the cart. Another one I definitely wanna pick up is this Fourth Night by Dominator Fireworks. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, Fourth of July and Fortnite, kind of a play on words there. Um, this is another cake with the four for a hundred dollars. So we'll grab that one. Um, and uh, pretty much over here, uh, you know, we have these four cakes here, Navy, Army, Marines, and Air Force. But I think I'm gonna go for the MC Fireworks Heavy Hitter because I have been impressed with MC in the past. And so we definitely wanna try this out. Um, recently, we did shoot the Clown and Cake, which is kind of a duration cake. So we wanna try this out as well and uh, see if it's just as good as that. Uh, this one here though, duration is 30 seconds and I believe this is a 15 shot cake. So we'll be testing that out as well. So right now our budget is $340. And remember, we've got $500 to spend, but it looks like we're gonna need another cart. So give me one more second. So we have another shopping cart and we're at $340, $500 budget. Now I really wanna highlight how many 200 gram cakes you can get with a $500 budget. And so it's gonna be a lot of quick math. So starting over here, I'm gonna get the Great American Fireworks Company Statue of Liberty, that's $11, so we'll just add 11. We're at 351. Uh, we're gonna get this one here as well, Minutemen, which is a gold willow with white glitter. That should be a lot of fun. That one there is $6, so we'll add six. And then uh, we wanna get Epic Force by Epic Fireworks, so that is $15, we'll add that real quick. And I'll grab one off the top here. 
And then uh, over here, I want to get one of these Pure Powers by Major League Pyro, which is a brand I'm not too familiar with. That one there is $13, so we'll add that. So you can really see how the 200 gram cakes really add up when you have a higher budget. Um, we're gonna get All the Rage here by Brothers Pyrotechnics. That is a 25 shot cake. And we'll just go ahead and add 13. And you can see we're only at 398, so we still have like $102 to spend over here in the 200 gram cake section. So I'm gonna do a little bit of looking around because I know we don't wanna be looking at these all day. And then I'll show you guys what I picked out at the end. So with all these 200 gram cakes that we just picked out, we are at a budget of $496. So we are pretty freaking close to our $500 budget. But what I'm gonna do is go over here to these new Neon Wrap Mighty Minis, and I'm just gonna pick out maybe two of these bad boys. So that is going to put us at six, and we are right there at 502. And I know that we also have to account for the taxes here, but I feel like if you're spending $500 at a fireworks store, you probably are just worried about the amount of fireworks you're getting. And we're right here at a $500 budget. So that is what it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna pay for it and shoot it all off. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, if you stop into Red Dragon Fireworks, you will also get a Cody B pop socket free of charge. $500 worth of fireworks. Here we go. So right now we're just taking all the fuse protectors off of these cakes. Uh, just got done over there at the fireworks store and we're gonna get them all set up and shoot them off somewhere right over there. So I gotta admit, seeing all these fireworks stacked and set up like this looks pretty cool. It brings me back to the 4th of July when I was a lot younger and my uncles and cousins used to bring out just about this amount in 500 gram cakes. We always used to stack them in the garage. It looked a lot like this. We are gonna have a lot of fun. We got all the fuse protectors off and um, I'm gonna do this firework display kind of like I did the $250 budget show where I go back and forth between two separate rows lighting one cake on each side as the other one finishes. So we'll explain more about that when I have them all set up and then we'll describe the opener, the finale, and the whole show as one piece. Okay, I have this firework display set up how I want it to go off. You'll notice we have one row right here and then we have another row way over there and remember, we'll be firing this in the same pattern as the $250 budget show. And then kind of in between the two rows, we have four cakes right here. That is going to be the grand finale. And so when both of these rows are completely finished, that will be the last thing to go. So now let's explain how I'm going to be shooting these off. So over here, I have an opener and it's all four of these little cakes, which I'm going to hit all four of them at the same time. So this will be hit number one is these four cakes. After those are all lit off, I'm gonna walk over here to this row where I will then hit off the hook, which is like a flying fish cake. And then when that one is finished, I'm gonna walk back over here and light this cake by Maddox Fireworks called Reaper Drone. And then once that one is going, I will walk back. I know this is gonna get a bit repetitive, but then we have Pinball Wizard, so we'll go kind of fast here. So we're gonna do Pinball and then coming all the way back. We're gonna do Statue of Liberty, and then moving back over here, we'll hit all the rage. After that one goes, we're gonna do Flashbang by Raccoon. Once that one's done, we'll come back over here to Pure Power. And then when that one is over with, we will be hitting Heavy Hitter by MC Fireworks. Coming on back. And then we've got Monster Truck, that's an epic firework cake. Over here we have Fourth Night by Dominator. So we'll be hitting that one right after monster truck then we have two if by c that's by the great american fireworks company after that one's done we'll be hitting one of my favorites of the night winter sweet by mc fireworks and then after that goes off we'll be doing this cheese heads and this cake is kind of odd because it's in a triangle so setting it up in a row like this was kind of tough you see we had to put the fuse like this um, by the way you will notice that all fuses are facing the center of the two rows and that's just so that I can come up here, hit that one, then go right over to that row and hit that one. But anyway, after Cheeseheads goes off, we come back to some 200 gram cakes. We've got Summertime by Epic Fireworks. And when that one's finished, we'll do Epic Force by Epic Fireworks. After that 200 gram cake, we'll be doing this Declaration of Independence. This is another 200 gram cake by the Great American Fireworks Company. And last but not least, for the 200 gram cakes before the finale, we've got Eisenberg. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. You guys are probably gonna make fun of me if I got it wrong, but that's a 16 shot cake. We kind of uh, went from 500 gram cakes into four final 200 gram cakes.
just to kind of slow down a bit before these massive shots here, which are the finale. And these four cakes are Glitterati Jr., Mammoth Brocade, Mammoth Sunring, and this one by Raccoon. Um, can't remember the name on that. That is big color. So that is going to be huge breaks, tons of loud. We have 10 shots, 10 shots. But don't get confused by these lower shot counts because oftentimes when a 500 gram cake has a nine or 10 shot, you know it's gonna be big and loud. So I figured this will be a great way to end our $500 budget show. Anyway, that is the entire firework display setup. And now we are just waiting on the sun to go down. And when it's dark enough, we will get right back to you. All right, here we go, $500 budget firework display.